Hey YouTube, coming at you with a video submission from Conrad and Shadow Cacturn. So I've seen Cacturn a couple times and I'm like, okay, what's up, what's going on with this Pokemon? So I just looked out on PV Poke, Shadow's ranked 353, and my goodness, this thing has probably the highest attack stat product I've seen in GBL. It's a 148.9 attack stat. So you are definitely one of the highest attack stat Pokemon for a, a Pokemon that I've seen. Like there's higher attack stat Pokemon, but those are just like not used. Uh, but I've seen Cacturn a couple times because it got Sucker Punch buffed. Now, 148.9 attack with a 20% Shadow Bonus. So this thing is probably going to one-shot almost anything. Um, and the Sucker Punches at 5.76 damage per turn are really going to add up here. However, 83.5 defense, 121 stamina, 1500 overall, bad. Charge moves. Trailblaze is a 45 energy move and Dark Pulse is a 50 energy move. If Sucker Punch is only charging at 3.5 energy per turn and you're that glassy of Pokemon, you want some 35 energy moves, maybe 40. For your quickest being 45 and 50, that's not good enough to make this Pokemon viable. And then your type in Grass uh, Dark it brings me back to the Shiftry days. Double weak to Bug, single weak to Fairy, Fighting, Fire, Flying, Ice, and Poison. So a lot of weaknesses for something that is that glassy. It does have decent resistances, double resist Psychic, and then resist Water, Ground, Grass, Ghost, Electric, and Dark. Uh, in the write-up, they said, thank you for your work and your content. Uh, you helped me hit 2,500 in the first four seasons I played GBL. Um, wanted to test this Pokemon out for fun because of its rank and IVs. I know this team comp doesn't make much sense because you're ABA weak to poison and double weak to ice. Um, and you're also double weak to fighting. I know this team doesn't comp doesn't make... Uh, da, da, da. Shadow Cacturn is the glassiest Pokemon I've ever used, but hits like a truck, especially if you can ramp up once or twice. Low Kicks is ranked higher and probably a better alternative but doesn't hit as hard um i know i made dumb mistakes and i suck at team reading but feel free to be as harsh as you want i'm hoping to finally be able to push and make expert one season okay so yeah like they kind of mentioned this team is filled with double weaknesses and cacturn has just a ton on its own diggers is gonna be your safe swap um we'll see how see this thing in action here i think it's just gonna be a little too slow getting to the charge moves but we'll see okay bad lead <laughs> Gotta go, okay, nope, bad lead. Nope, yep. Again, even if it was a fairy wind user, it's a bad lead. You you can't stand there because Sucker Punch is resisted. So you need to... And Sucker Punch is going to do the majority of the damage, right? Because it's such a hard-hitting move. So, and then you just kind of boost it with Trailblaze and just kind of out-Sucker Punch your opponent. So when you have such a bad lead like that, you got to get out. Um, got into Digger's B. You're gonna try and land the hyper beam yeah you're only gonna get to one more move might as well try and land the hyper beam maybe they won't expect it oops i thought you said fire punch um oh, okay sorry this was the second set fire punch on diggers b was a nice coverage move for grass that was relatively spammy but i started getting hard counter by talent flames and menus which is why i switched to hyper beam in the last set so it is uh, Fire Punch and Hyper Beam. So I'll just kind of add this down here. Back out with the Azumarill. Back out with Azumarill into um, the Clefable, which is fine because that you don't really not want your character to see this. And a Skarmory. Who is who still uses a Skarmory? They go straight Brave Bird, um, which is a decision. Uh, basically trying to gonna sacrifice this Cacturn and just let a, a Zoomerl try and sweep here. They're going to have a move. The bubble does go through and register, but they have a move. So this should take out here. Yeah, kind of tough. Okay, so this is, again, as good of a neutral matchup as you're going to get. Um, and as you can see, like right, you're, you, the problem is this, how slow the moves are. Yes, the damage is adding up. So to, let me just stop it here because to do basically, this is as neutral as a matchup as you're going to get, right? Shadow Dragonair just doing Dragon Breath damage. Shadow Cacturn just doing Sucker Punch damage. Yes, they do slightly more damage to you than you do to them, right? You're, except, you're extremely glassy and very attack heavy. So the glassiness is just going to seem to outweigh 
the attack heaviness. But you did chip this thing a lot. The problem was, as you saw there, it, it you did not get to the Trailblaze faster than they got to the Aqua Tail or Body Slam. And that is a significant drawback to this Pokemon. If this thing had like a 35 energy move, I think it could be not strong, but I think it would have like way more play. Um, but with a 45 energy move, it's just too slow. And you need to buff, you need to buff these sucker punches, right? So I don't know if Cacturn on the lead is how you want to play this. You may want to, if you're going to use this Pokemon, I think about using this Pokemon, you may want to try to get in, um, use it in the back and try and get it to counter something. Uh, so like something else, I don't know, you said this team comp doesn't work. Oh buddy, how are you already crying? Kids whining already. Such a suck. Okay, uh, Dunsparce comes in. Because I think this Pokemon makes sense if you can like just ramp up. But if you can't ramp up on this thing, then it's kind of useless. <laughs> Jesus. Getting uh, rollout downed, which is uh, crazy in itself. Drill run, Azumarill is tanky. So you are going to have to do put in some work with Azumarill. And this Dunsparce charge moves are going to come really fast. Yeah, Bubble and Bubble and Roller are both three turn fast moves, so you can't do much there. Do you grab a shield? Oh, and they let you come and just farm here? That's dumb. Oh, that's really dumb. <laughs> Your opponent just lets you get the full farm down with the bubbles and now allows you to just get to a charge move. And now you should be able to bubble down. You can live one drill up, drill run for sure. Can you live two? That'll be Why would you go rock slide? Rock slide they're both basically the same energy, but Rockside just got nerfed and it's much worse anyway. So use the drill run in neutral situations. Okay, good lead. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay. This is why I think Cacturn should not be on the lead. You had a... You had a... Good initially, yeah, good lead. Your sucker punch is resisted, but all their move sets are resisted. They got scared when they saw the grass and got out into um, Giraffe Rig. Now, Dark is super effective against Psychic. And Psychic and, and Dark double resist their Psychic moves. So not only were you hitting super effective, but you were taking double resisted moves with these Psychics. So you had the best matchup you can have. However, when you're using something like uh, something this glassy, what makes it scary on the lead is if something comes in, because even like one to two fast moves that register are gonna do like 30% damage, right? So this is why I think if you're gonna use this Pokemon, use it in the back because that way you um, just like, one potentially like just grab shields on the front um, and then two if you can align on these good matchups in the back and then you can ramp up and then you just resist and then you can ramp up oh my god <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Ooh. okay um, if you can align you can sucker punch and ramp up and then not have to have a situation where you're in a bad matchup or even a neutral matchup and they're going to take you out there because holy smokes this thing is glassy so that was two incinerates that just took this thing out um make want to catch on the diggersby yeah nice catch it's kind of your only win con you had to do that and catch it because you need to come out with that some energy um the incinerates are resisted you have a ton of energy what's left here giraffe comes in and then they try to come in with a greninja to maybe try and catch you do not throw. Get the play rough off. Can you bubble down before they get to a move? Nope. And a Hydro. Hydro will take you out. Night Slash? Maybe not. Yeah, High Slash does not. You have a move coming out. So, very, very tight there. But managed to take it out. Okay, for Alligator. They may leave. Claws resisted. So, it's a good lead. Now. I don't trust your ability to take a move. Okay, Licky Licky comes in. 
this is, yeah, you are loaded with energy. This is one where you just stay in and just start ramping up and see how much you can damage you can do. I think it's worth the shield. Now we know that for alligator has a move. Can you farm down and get this out? Yes. Okay, great. You should win CMP. Throw blindly. Yep. Perfect. Like this is how, but this Pokemon can potentially cause some issues in good matchups where you can just ramp up. Uh, yeah. Mm, okay. Try to commit to the farm down here. I saw you try to switch and they get into sand slash, which was like, oh, it was, it was powder snow sand slash. Okay. I was gonna say, okay, Shadow Claw wouldn't be too bad, but it's Powder Snow, so yeah, you had to get out there. You did grab two shields, you did use two shields. Um, just going with the. So I. They, I guess they have to shield because it's so low. I think Ice is double resisted because of the steel and ice, where Player Rough is single resisted and just a better, better damage per energy and everything. Like, I don't even know if this takes out because I think it's double resisted and non stab on an Azumarill. Yeah, so you have to throw the play rough there to take that out. So play rough is single resisted and you get same type of attack bonus and it's better damage and better damage per energy and ice beam is double resisted and non-stab. So you definitely just take it out with the play rough and not just the ice beam there. You'll live a hydro. If, but if this thing has a uh, weather ball, I don't think you live this. Or sorry, no, ice punch. And you don't live that, no. Okay, you got an instant swapped. Uh, going into this. Getting hit with a Venusaur. Scorching Sands is still neutral. You can live a Frenzy. It'll be close. It'll put you in the red. But you can live a Frenzy. Um, and if you're only going to get one move. Yeah, I guess I can see the argument. If you're only going to get one move, try and land the Hyper Beam. Take this out. Or, yeah, take it out. And you do. And you flip switch. So that is actually huge. Being able to flip switch there. They'll come in, yeah, they'll come in incinerate, that's fine. Now you have the Azum roll on this. They could fly, but even if it's Brave Bird, I think you just take this and let this go. It is just a fly. If they stay in, maybe there's an argument you probably need to shield this next one. I could see, you, you'll you live. Uh, I could see the argument for shielding, because you don't know what's in the back yet, and this thing is so glassy. Okay, it is a good Pokemon for you. That said, can you even take a Surf? <laughs> and that's the thing with this Pokemon. Like, I don't trust its ability to take anything, quite honestly. Um, so you kind of need to. Oh, and they let that go. But that's not a smart move because now you, you're ramped up. Yeah, and Sucker Punch is neutral. It's not a grass move. Okay. So Fairy Winds are super effective. Um, they're going to get to the Aerial Aces pretty quick here. Throwing the move right away, this will probably scare them. Like, I would probably show this not knowing even what you have. Okay, I don't know what you have though. Now I do, but. Um, grab the shield. They only have acrobatics, so that's fine. Oh, you, yeah, I guess Digger's B is not much out anymore. It's quick attack, which is neutral. Uh, energy ball with shadow is going to hurt. Yeah, it's going to hurt a lot. Now this one is the one with fire punch, which is better than scorching sands in this scenario. So I'm going to take this out. Machamp, I would just throw, yeah, okay. Uh, now you got a shield. Get the Scorching Sands off and then instant swap into a zoom roll here. Because you can't take any more counters here. You guys swap to a zoom roll. No, you can't get farm down here. You got a fire punch off because they committed to the farm down. And they did shield, so that's kind of nice. They do have energy though, so this could be like a rock slide or stone edge. It is just a rock slide, so that's actually pretty decent. Because they're not getting out and they only have rock slide. And they're out of shield, right? They try to catch on an Arctabax. Um, now Dragon Breath is resisted. I think all their charge moves are resisted. Oof, that being said, can you really take an avalanche and then dragon breast here? I don't know. And it's just a dragon claw. Yeah, I almost think you had to commit to that shield. Uh, it's tough though, because now they may have a rock slide. You just need an ice beam. Uh, but now they have a rock slide and rock slide will take you out. It was kind of tough there. 
because th I think if they threw like an avalanche, it probably would have put you in farm down range. So you kind of had to commit to that. So they are running Psycho Cut Medi, which means that this is probably an ice punch that you have to shield. Now, this is as good of a, this is what you kind of, oh, it's a dynamic punch, that's fine. Throw the Trailblaze, like you should be, with this Pokemon, you throw the Trailblaze as soon as you get it. You start ramping up ASAP, there's no other point, no other way around it, you just ramp up as soon as you can and commit the shields. So shield and farm down to come out with some energy. Um, okay, again, if you're gonna, yeah, Trailblaze is neutral because it's half rock. You need to throw this thing ASAP. The strength of this Pokemon, uh, uh, I get it. Uh, yeah, I get it. Diggersby is just a wall to this thing. They can only throw. F oh, okay. Stone Edge is resisted. They can only throw Flame Throw. I was gonna say, and Scorching Sands is super effective, and you can just come out with energy. So I get it. I get the move. Um, I don't know about this Undercharge. Oh, okay, that was actually pretty good. I thought it would be a little tougher to Undercharge correctly. But that was actually a really good undercharge. <laughs> so back to back fire punches. This is where the bait move actually comes in handy because this, they're low enough. And now you just grabbed a shield and took it out. And it is a polyrath in the back. So banking the scorching sands. Um, I was going to say, at that point, I thought probably just throw the scorching sands and then come into a zoom roll, but that's fine. Okay. Sucker punches are resisted too. But so is this. Now throw the Trailblaze there. Okay. I imagine it'll do like 60, 70%. Yeah, they're not going to let me see. And based on how slow a zoom roll is, I feel like you can outpace this thing. Throw here. Yeah, I guess four was better. And I think, yeah, I think you just commit to the swap, the the win here, especially with the double boosted Pokemon here. And, oh no. I think you have to, with that boosted Sucker Punch, and you are so close to Dark Pulse, I think you could outpace and you're going to win CMP with your attack. Now I guess this is double super effective Fire Punches, so maybe this will do one shot anyways, and it's probably, oh no, it doesn't even one shot. And Quick Attack is resisted, so you're going to lose here. Jeez. Yeah, I feel like you could have maybe if you if you're that ramped up and you're that close to a move, I think you just get to that dark pulse. You probably would have taken a lot of damage, but you would have one shot it for sure. And then you would have two full Pokemon. Okay, you'll still get this out here. How many did you need? Three or four? Dunsparce is gonna probably take you out before you get to oh no you do not which is actually huge because this will do so much damage and then a zoom roll will easily sweep the rest holy smokes wow yeah that hurts <laughs> that hurts for alligator again good lead you're doing neutral honestly i wouldn't take a hydro if they throw right away i'm probably shielding yeah you kind of have to i would probably go like three maybe four sucker punches and then throw the move I would have tried to come up with a little more energy here because the cl claws aren't doing anything, right? Because the claws are resisted. Because now they'll just let it go and come hard counter you. Yeah, and so then you get it into Digger's B. That's why I think you just like farm up a bit, take a little more resisted Shadow Claw damage, but come close to like two moves and then force their, force their shield or take them out when you have a lot of energy. That's just what the better... Uh, players do sort of thing they just kind of over farm and get that energy take it out they are now going to try and um go here yeah if it comes zoomer all you take the first move because if you'll live a brave bird you just don't want them to like boost and then yeah i still think you live a fly and Incendiary's resisted, so it's not like it's going to do anything. And if they Brave Bird, uh, you got to... I don't think you have to instant swap, but... Because a bubble will register and do a lot of damage. Problem is two won't. But you have a shield and Sucker Punch will... Yeah, definitely take this down with a three times lower defense. Okay, maybe the last one. 155 left. Good lead. Double comes in. Um, 
<clears throat> now double is has double kick so you just came in to your other pokemon that is taken super effective from double kick and this i know it could have wild charge but i think you have to come a zoom roll next time it's in fire punch range like you should be throwing fire punch to take this out asap oh <sighs> You committed the sort of the carnal, I need a haircut. Um, the ultimate sin here is there's so many aspects of this game. Team comp, switch, energy, fast move timing. What you tried to do there is you tried to maximize your fast move timing, fast move optimization to make sure that you minimize their energy but in doing so you completely lacked sort of like knowledge of like where you were in the scenario and ended up not even throwing one move but going down with the sound of energy oh gastrodon does take you out even though it's resisted um going just for the Yeah, I think it's because one player off probably does not take out. Mm. And now you can just get to the ice beam and take this out. Oh, it's going to be close. How bulky is the zoom roll here to live or not live this? No, you don't live it. That's too bad. Um, yeah, so I think unique fast move optimization and fast move timing to minimize your opponent's energy is important part of the game. But you can't like overdo that at the expense of just like throwing the move. Like, let them get a ton of energy on their fast move if it means you're getting a move off and grabbing a shield or taking it out, right? So, that's the only thing I'd suggest there. Thanks for the submission. Interesting Pokemon. Um, I have no idea if I even have a Shadow version, quite honestly. And I, I don't know if I even want to play it again. I think I think Trailblaze and Dark Pulse are just too high energy for this Pokemon. How classy it is, but fun. So thanks for the submission. Anyways, that is it. Uh, stay tuned this afternoon for um, Seawaddle Community Day overview. And that is it. So I appreciate you watching. Thanks for the support. And I'll see you guys in the next one.